A monument stands in San Juan, Puerto Rico to honor the island's fallen heroes. These 1,225 men lost their lives while serving under the flag of the United States of America. They gave their lives for their country, but as residents of Puerto Rico, they lacked some of the basic rights of American citizenship. They could not participate in presidential elections, and their only representative in Congress was a single, non-voting resident commissioner. Today, that political inequality remains for the almost four million United States citizens in Puerto Rico. They serve proudly in our nation's military, but they cannot vote for the commander-in-chief or for the U.S. senators and representatives who hold the power to declare war and ratify peace. The American Veterans Committee for Puerto Rico Self-Determination was created to educate all Americans about the role Puerto Ricans have played in the nation's defense. Their mission is to proclaim, preserve, and promote the right of Puerto Rico to self-determination. Every veteran in the States has served with Puerto Ricans at their side. They fought in combat and, uh, and they know what a Puerto Rican soldier, soldier is and what have they done and their record. There's no doubt about the uh, patriotism uh, of the Puerto Rican uh, servicemen. Puerto Ricans have taken up arms in every war in conflict since 1898. The 65th Infantry Regiment of Puerto Rico achieved renown for its valor in Korea. And four Puerto Ricans who gave their lives in Korea and Vietnam have received the Congressional Medal of Honor. We have all been there, and many of our veterans have died. Some are still missing in action. I myself am a Vietnam veteran, and I had the privilege and honor of serving with many Puerto Ricans in Vietnam. I volunteered to the Army, volunteered to the Airborne, volunteered to Special Forces, and volunteered to serve in Vietnam because I believed in the American way of life. Now that, some people might say, is old-fashioned, but I believed in it then, I still believe in it now. But despite this unimpeachable record of loyalty and sacrifice, Puerto Rico remains without the full rights of political self-determination. The U.S. Congress has never offered Puerto Rico a clear and binding set of options for a permanent political status that will guarantee them the rights they so richly deserve. I don't think it's correct to have four million U.S. citizens without a right to vote, without a right to elect the president that makes decisions that affect the lives of the veterans. Uh, uh, I mean, this is, no, no state would, would put up with that. And I think it's about time that Congress acted to mandate a vote in Puerto Rico to clarify what the options are and let the people of Puerto Rico decide. Having served my country, this country, and having been born in Puerto Rico, I believe that uh, we should be given that right of self-determination. I think that the United States uh, owes, us, owes us, Puerto Rican, particularly at the, those of us who have served the, the nation well, an opportunity to, to cast a vote in favor of what we believe in. The American Veterans Committee for Puerto Rico Self-Determination is taking its message to veterans organizations nationwide. Veterans in the United States will understand when we uh, claim for a right to, to vote and to have the right to finally decide on our political status. This isn't a, a Puerto Rican issue, this is a civil rights issue. We have four million U.S. citizens that do not have full rights, yet they're U.S. citizens, and that's not right. Every American citizen, every American organization, every American Congress person should favor giving Puerto Ricans the opportunity to self-determination, guaranteed, guaranteed by legislation from Congress, that whatever option is chosen by the Puerto Rican people, Congress will implement. That's why we're here.